Colby Wood with White Elm Brewing Company. That Arts, and I'm from Boiler Brewing Company. Marcus Powers, I'm a co-founder and chief of operations at Zipline Brewing Company. Jake Miller, I am the assistant manager at Boiler Brewing Company. I'm Matt from Plowshare Brewing Company here in Lincoln. I wanted to talk about LB 632, a current bill in front of the state legislature. Just last year, uh, the Nebraska Craft Brewery Board and the distributors and the brewers all got together and allowed up to five retail establishments per brewery. It gives us an opportunity to open a retail location where we can bring the beer to ourselves and not have to pay the three-tier system markups and buy the beer back from ourselves. But this bill would seek to strip that away. Yeah, I think this is bad for Nebraska. I think this is bad for Nebraska jobs. With uh, the bill that's introduced, um, what it does is really just kind of halts craft brewery in, in Nebraska, um, which is a growing market. Just this whole thing um, that could be a huge revenue for the state on a very local you know, level. We really wanted to open extra tap rooms that weren't just the tap room connected to our uh, brewery down in an industrial district and now this law seeks to take that away from us. It's not only that it cripples growth and it the, the caps growth of craft breweries, it's opening a door to further legislation that can stifle a burgeoning industry within this state. And that's the scary part, when big money is directing things against the interests of the people. You know, without those extra tap rooms, we can't make that extra connection in Nebraska. These places creates a lot of new jobs and a lot of new opportunities and also helps bolster the businesses around them. To make it harder and harder and harder on the little guy constantly, it doesn't help anybody. You know, every business owner has visions for their business and how they want to grow. The most important thing is one, continue to support your, your local local breweries, you know, whether it's going to their tap rooms, buying their beer, and you're contacting your state senator, um, they are opposed to it because you like good beer and you want to keep drinking it. So to be an involved citizen, at bare minimum, contact your senator. It's super easy. You can type in, go to Google, type in who's my senator, it'll take you, state senator, it'll take you to a page, you type in your zip code, your senator will come up with their email address and you can send them a one or two sentence email saying, I'm in opposition to LB 632. And it's not just us, it's not just Boiler, it's, it's, it's all local craft breweries. We want everyone to succeed and to be able to do their thing. And, and after the cost of beer and the cost of packaging and all the taxes that we pay, the brewer is lucky to net 25 cents. So I want you to think about this now. Who needs the playing field leveled? With continued regulation and augmentation of laws to support the macro brewers out there and stifle local business, uh, you know, who knows where we'll be standing in two to three years.